Italy, I cannot say fun. Uh, it's difficult. It's really difficult, and uh, every match is very tactical, and every match is a huge challenge to a coach. So to go there and to do what nobody did in the history of Italian football, which was win the the travel, is something I, I cannot forget. Why did you appoint Jose Mourinho? Uh, because Mourinho, the character, I liked a lot uh, the character of Mourinho and uh, of course the results. From the beginning I consider Mourinho special, special. It shouldn't be understated the ability to take a team out of Serie A at that time when it was probably at the lowest ebb ever and he came along Italy, I cannot say fun, uh, it's difficult, it's really difficult and uh, every match is very tactical and every match is a huge challenge to a coach, so to go there and to do what nobody did in the history of Italian football, which was win the, the travel, is something I, I cannot forget. Why did you appoint Jose Mourinho? Uh, because Mourinho, the character, I liked a lot uh, the character of Mourinho and uh, of course the results. From the beginning I consider Mourinho special, special. It shouldn't be understated the ability to take a team out of Serie A at that time when it was probably at the lowest ebb ever. And he came along and he created this team that could go anywhere. The Italian establishment did not like Jose Mourinho. Of course, because they lose. Uh, <laughs> He's broken the system. He's broken the system, but also because Inter wins, and that is something not really acceptable. <laughs> it all peaked one tempestuous night at the San Siro with a gesture that spoke volumes more than any Mourinho soundbite. The Italian referees' union threatened to go on strike before Mourinho was banned for three games. What is it about Mourinho's character that seems prepared to overstep a mark others wouldn't? It's Barcelona. If you subtract from Mourinho's dark side incidents involving Barcelona, he's only grey at worst. We had to face again the situation of play against them with ten players. I think you could get the finest psychologist from Oxford University and get him or her to analyse Jose Mourinho's extraordinary relationship with Barcelona Football Club. Barcelona wants to be the best team on the pitch. Chelsea wants to be the best team on the pitch. I hope the referee wants to be the best team on the pitch. He perceives that you know, they look down on him. So I'm sure there is an element of wanting to prove his former paid masters wrong. I always believe in, in success, and the reason why I left was because I believe I could uh, have a good future as, as a manager. When Jose Mourinho was a translator here, did Italy, I cannot say fun, uh, it's difficult, it's really difficult and uh, every match is very tactical and every match is a huge challenge to a coach, so to go there and to do what nobody did in the history of Italian football, which was win the, the travel, is something I, I cannot forget. Why did you appoint Jose Mourinho? Uh, because Mourinho, the character, I liked a lot uh, the character of Mourinho and, uh, of course, the results. From the beginning, I consider Mourinho special, special. It shouldn't be understated, the ability to take a team out of Serie A at that time when it was probably at the lowest ebb ever. And he came along and he created this team that could go anywhere. The Italian establishment did not like Jose Mourinho. Of course, because they lose. Uh, <laughs> He's broken the system. He's broken the system, but also because Inter wins, and that is something not really acceptable. 
It all peaked one tempestuous night at the San Siro with a gesture that spoke volumes more than any Mourinho soundbite. The Italian referees' union threatened to go on strike before Mourinho was banned for three games. What is it about Mourinho's character that seems prepared to overstep a mark others wouldn't? It's Barcelona. If you subtract from Mourinho's dark side incidents involving Barcelona, he's only grey at worst. We had to face again the situation of play against them with ten players. I think you could get the finest psychologist from Oxford University and get him or her to analyse Jose Mourinho's extraordinary relationship with Barcelona Football Club. Barcelona wants to be the best team on the pitch. Chelsea wants to be the best team on the pitch. I hope the referee wants to be the best team on the pitch. He perceives that, you know, they look down on him. So I'm sure there is an element of wanting to prove his former paid masters wrong. I always believe in, in success. And the reason why I left was because I believe I could uh, have a good future as, as a manager. When Jose Mourinho was a translator here, did you see him becoming the great manager he is today? No. I have to say that uh, if uh, in that time I would see uh, this talent, I would go to the president and say, oh, keep going here because this guy is good. In fact, six months after he left Chelsea, Mourinho held talks about becoming the next manager of Barcelona. He made a brilliant presentation to Barcelona's then sporting director, Tixi Berguristan. He thought that he could be the Barcelona manager. He, he kind of approached Barcelona if, if there was a possibility. And uh, I think all, all that built up in him. And, and, and obviously, whenever he plays against Barcelona, he, he, he probably sh thinks he has to prove himself. Mourinho's refusal to soften his abrasive style was the stumbling block. Instead, Barcelona would appoint a man fully ingrained in their more than a club tradition. Thank you, sir. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Two years later, Mourinho and Guardiola faced each other as managers in the last four of the Champions League. The semi-final tilts Mourinho's way. Mourinho's Inter had won the first leg 3-1. We have the dream to play the Champions League final. For Barcelona, it's not a dream. It's an obsession. There is a difference between a dream and an obsession. A dream is more pure than obsession. A dream is about pride. For them, this is an obsession, and the obsession is called Madrid and Santiago Bernabeu. But um, he's always find a time to uh, to talk. If every single player put the team before themselves, they will be successful. And I think that is the strength of Jose Mourinho. You must create a, a good leadership with the players, which is an accepted leadership, not the leadership by power, not the leadership by status. Make everybody feel part of a group, and I'm one of them. Why should one man be able to change the mentality of a whole team? Because he wins. He convinced the player that match by match we were better and better. Now Schneider, back into Melito, transfer into Milan, Melito! Don't forget, English and Italian soccer, they've been competing in the European trophies for many, 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 many years. Diego Melito, fantastic run, oh! We no one's ever want to travel either of either of these countries until Inter did it and we did it. The last minute when you feel you are European champions, the joy of the players, of the fans, of the president being this match, the last one with Inter Milan, is even more emotional. History for Inter Milan, the first 
Italian treble winners. What is he doing? This is a man who is no longer acting. I know he knows there's a camera there, but there's something about this that is movingly genuine. His bond with his, his players is extraordinarily emotional, and it works both ways. They feel a uh, love for him that I've not heard expressed about any other managers. I was crying because I was saying goodbye. Lots of players in the last part of their career, probably with the last chance or one of the last chances to win that competition, it was an incredible night for me. Probably one of my best nights in football. I think it's the best way to, to leave a team and to leave a job is to live that way, win the Champions League and leave. Jose Mourinho was named FIFA Coach of the Year for 2010. UEFA awarded him nothing. It shouldn't be understated, the ability to take a team out of Serie A at that time when it was probably at the lowest ebb ever. And he came along. In the history of Italian football, which was win the, the travel, is something I, I cannot forget. Why did you appoint Jose Mourinho? Uh, because Mourinho, the character, I liked a lot uh, the character of Mourinho and uh, of course the results. From the beginning I consider Mourinho special. special. <laughs> Italy, I cannot say fun, uh, it's difficult, it's really difficult and uh, Every match is very tactical and every match is a huge challenge to a coach, so to go there and to do what nobody... Italy, I cannot say fun, uh, it's difficult, it's really difficult and uh, every match is very tactical and every match is a huge challenge to a coach, so to go there and to do what nobody did in the history of Italian football, which was win the, the travel, is something I, I cannot forget. Why did you appoint Jose Mourinho? Uh, because Mourinho, the character, I liked a lot uh, the character of Mourinho and uh, of course the results. From the beginning I consider Mourinho special, special. It shouldn't be understated, the ability to take a team out of Serie A at that time when...